Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Journey of an Average Gamer, Minecraft Edition. In this episode, we're going to be getting the Adventure Time Achievement. Now, in order for us to get this Adventure Time Achievement, we're going to have to visit every biome in the game. However, we don't need to actually visit every biome in the game. So, we just really need to visit about 15, no, excuse me, about 17, 17 of them, 16, 17. So, instead of going through all of the various biomes, because some biomes are like hybrid biomes and they're consistently updating the game so that way there's new biomes and new places to explore so i'm just going to go over the basic biome so you can go ahead and get that achievement now right now where i'm at currently at is called the mesa biome but it's no longer called the mesa biome it's actually referred to as the badlands and in this badlands biome which is one of the things that i love is that you can get a lot of your gold here in this uh, Badlands biome. So if you're looking for gold and you're looking to farm it from ravines and um, uh, mine shafts, you can also come and find you a mess of biome just like this and dig down and harvest a lot of gold. So there's a lot of gold in this biome. This biome actually doesn't have a lot of trees in it. So if you want to grow trees, you would have to pretty much farm them like how you would normally farm, farm them next to water. Other than that, naturally, there's not going to be any trees in this biome. However, you will see this red sand. And with that red sand, you can go ahead and farm these sh sugar canes. And you can also farm cactus because it's a hot biome for them. Now, you see these different color layers. This right here is actually going to be your terracotta. So if you've ever been somewhere out in the West where you see like um, the Grand Canyon. And then when you look at the rocks in the Grand Canyon, each one of the sections of the rock is a different color, different layer, because there used to be water at that, uh, at those levels at one point in time. So it, it, it kind of lays out in la layers. That's basically what you're gonna see here. All of this is terracotta. So you got orange terracotta, you have the brown terracotta, you know, red terracotta, you know, and vice versa. Now, you can also take these terracottas and you can put them in the oven to create glazed terracotta, which I'll actually do a video on that in and of itself. And you can take the regular terracotta, dye it a different color, then glaze it in the furnace and turn it into a uh, glazed terracotta of that other color. Now, each one of those glazed terracottas will have its own unique different pattern and design. So if you want to really razzle and dazzle your world this is where you're gonna get your terracotta from so also when it comes to the badlands there's gonna be a, a couple of different spawns you can actually get uh you can get the uh zombie villagers spiders regular zombies skeletons creepers and you can also find slime here uh in addition to the enderman and the witch but going back to the slime you're gonna need to find slime in order to make slime balls and once you have the slime balls, you can actually create the lead with that. And what the lead does, it takes these llamas right here and it basically puts a little leash on them. So that way, you, when you walk around, it'll follow you just like the wandering trader. So, so far, this is going to be the Badlands biome and we'll move on to the next biome. This next biome is going to be the plain biomes. Now, the plain biomes has two variants you have the first variant which you see right here which is just an open field and then you also have the flower plains biomes in which it's like the it's like the plains that you see here but it'll be filled with flowers so one of the distinct features that you know you're in the plains biome is other than this wild empty space you can also find wild donkeys and horses grazing in the plains just like in real life so that's how you can tell that you're in a plains biome Knowing that you're in the flower plains biome is basically the same thing, but you'll see more flowers and sunflowers. Also in the plains biome, you can also find pillager outposts. So if you wanted to take the pillager outpost, you can. Also, if you're looking for the achievement to get the three bees in a hive and then you hit the hot break the hive with silk touch, you can actually find beehives here in the plains biomes as well. And they'll be hanging underneath a tree. For the most part, you'll see them more so in the sunflower plains because just like 
normal bees pollinate flowers uh our minecraft bees are going to pollinate flowers and that's going to be pretty much it for the biome it's going to be the second most abundant biome in the game be careful as well because every villain or enemy mob spawn can spawn in the plains biomes as well the next biome on our tour is going to be the swamp biome now as you can see these are the characteristics of a swamp biome you can see oak trees growing with vines on them as you can tell it's a very very flat place another key description that you can find on a swamp biome is that there's lily pads literally everywhere in patches and another thing that i like about the swamp biome is that the seafloor which is going to be shallow water is littered with seagrass so if you're looking for seagrass for a specific thing you know you can harvest it by shearing it off also Another great point about the sea biome, I mean, excuse me, the swamp biome, is that it's literally littered with clay. Now, this is what clay in its block form looks like. And then once you block, break up the clay blocks, they'll be like small little balls. You grab them, you put them inside the oven, and you turn those into the actual bricks that we, you know, the uh, like the red bricks that you see houses made out of. That's going to be coming from here. Other than that, you can also find mushrooms here. And this is where if you looked at the uh, diet episode on how to get the uh, light blue dye, you can get it right here because blue orchids actually grow here in swamp biomes. So if you're looking for that flower so you can get the dye, you can put it here and then you take the uh, bone meal and then you just go ahead and feed the bone meal to the flowers let them grow and then that's going to be how you harvest it so again this is going to be a very common biome uh and pretty much it's pretty much flat out what it is so i'll be moving on to the next on our list is going to be the tundra now if you actually look at the tundra there's actually three different variations of the snowy tundra one so pretty much it's going to look like this snow everywhere snow on the trees and also you're going to see a new mob for a new animal that's going to be the polar bear so you see one over there and there should be one in the background somewhere also your ice is going to be frozen into little blocks and that's going to be pretty much the key defining characteristics of a snowy tundra so you can also find pillager outpost here because it's actually cold you can't really grow any crops in this uh environment but it is a very uncommon type of biome so if you're going to survive in here or make a base here you're going to want to take some supplies with you from another biome to bring them in here because you're not really going to be able to do any kind of uh farming on this biome you can do some fishing but that's pretty much it for the food